We are pretty much prepared to get down into the base of our route. Uh, we just want to show you the system we're going to use to keep ourselves safe while we're abseiling. So I'm using the sling here as a lanyard to keep myself safe around the edge. And I'm going to use one of these knots as a, an isolation loop so I can extend my belay device away. So as I'm abseiling, it's not going to interfere with my thruster. Put this on so you can see it. sure a couple of things first of all my thrusser is going to bite and it's going to support me and then there's absolutely no way my belay device can accidentally knock it off okay all good jay all good mate all right mate just put this on can drop it all right i'll see you at the bottom see you at the bottom
down to the relay stands. I put in two absolutely unquestionable pieces of gear. Really good swing, really good duck, and I put one of each rope. So now I'm going to very carefully lower that down to the relay stands, and I can retrieve the rest of my gear with these two really good high pieces. going to climb this today. Uh, there isn't really an easier route that we can climb out of and we can't scramble out. Uh, and clearly we can't just walk off the bottom. So our only option is to go back up our ab rope. So we're pressing back out now, climbing back up our abseil rope. I've got myself up, set up with a couple of pressing knots and a foot stirrup to allow me to make progress back up. Uh, what's really important here, whatever method you use to do this, is that you remember that prussics are often just unrated pieces of string. So whilst they are very useful, they should be backed up. So I'm just using a rolling clove hitch knot uh, on an HMS carabiner onto my belay loop here, allowing me, as I move, to just take in uh, or roll out a little bit of slack so that I'm not ever very far above a solid attachment point that isn't just a prussic nut. Uh, it's quite a hard process, it's definitely worth practicing at home or practicing in a safe and sensible environment before you have to do it here for real. to climb on the sea cliffs in such an adventurous uh, location as this requires a series of good decisions. Um, the first good decisions that you need to make are choosing a venue that's appropriate for your skills and your experience, the conditions for that day, um, and uh, making sure that the, the people you're with are, are, are competent and happy to climb there. Um, but sometimes, even when you've made those good decisions, things are out of your control. Uh, and that's why it's so important to make sure you have uh, an escape route or a backup plan or just a way of making sure you can get yourself out of that situation. Of course backing off is always disappointing and it is a shame to leave a route undone uh, but being comfortable to do so, happy to leave some gear, come back down, able to have 
a safe and suitable mechanism to get back out of the crag again. It means, of course, we can just come back on another day and enjoy the climb again. And the foresight and the judgment to make that decision in time, whilst it's still easy to back off, uh, rather than climbing yourself into a place where you can't do anything else, uh, is a really important skill to develop and practice.